And Sekiro Shadows die twice at the start of the game. Let's get max stats and make everyone, including the bosses, a complete joke. What's up, guys? J Sharp here with GHS, bringing you more game hacking shenanigans using Cheat Engine, which you can download at CheatEngine.org. Just pay attention to the install because Cheat Engine comes coupled with adware to help keep it free. But by paying attention, you can easily decline it to get a nice clean install of the program. And if you feel you need more help with this, click the link at the top or in the description below. And the next step is just to fire up Cheat Engine and Sekiro, which I loaded in windowed mode to make it easier to work with both it and Cheat Engine at the same time. And once the game's loaded, head to the top left of Cheat Engine, click the computer icon, come over to the process list, and double click Sekiro. Now we're ready to start hacking. But before you continue with the rest of the video, you need to be aware that the steps shown throughout this video work with game version 1.05 released in October of 2020. If you have version 1.04, toward the end of the video, I'll post a link to a few changes you need to make to get this working for you. But that video only shows the changes, so you should still watch this one to understand the overall picture of what you need to do before you watch the video for game version 1.04. That said, let's continue. Let's write a quick script that'll give us just under a billion coins. Back in Cheat Engine, click on this Memory View button. Then at the top of this window, click Tools, then Auto Assemble. And in the Auto Assemble window, click Template, then Cheat Table Framework Code. Then click Template again, and this time, choose Code Injection. And over here in this dialog box, change whatever's in here for you to what you see on the screen if you have version 1.05. Again, if you don't, check out the video for version 1.04 that will be linked at the end of this video. Either way, make sure you put the double quotes around Sekiro.exe and capitalize any letters after the plus. Then hit OK and head back to the auto assembler. And don't freak out by what you see here. Ignore everything except what's right here at original code. So left click just behind the colon, then hit enter. And right here in the empty space, type MOV space left bracket RAX right bracket comma hashtag and then nine nines. Make sure you have one space between the MOV and the left bracket, and no spaces anywhere else. And double check the number you typed. If you try to give yourself too much money, you'll end up with negative money. Now just come to the top, click File, then assign the current cheat table, and then come over here and click the X to close this. Now in Cheat Engine, the script we just made is right here. If you double click the text, you can rename the script, which I'll do so we can keep track of things a little easier. And now to activate the script, all we gotta do is click just inside this box. And now just exit the pause screen. And you'll be a billionaire. Next, let's write a script for XP. Back in the memory viewer, hit tools, then auto assemble. And then in the auto assemble window, hit template, cheat table framework code, and then template code injection. And replace this with what you now see on the screen. And over here again, we'll come right behind original code and hit enter. But this time, type MOV space ESI with no brackets, then comma, hashtag, and nine nines. Triple check the number here. This is the max XP you can give yourself at one time or your XP may go negative. And if it does, you won't be able to max out your skills. The only way to undo this is to reload to an earlier save. So don't screw this one up. Once you're sure you did this right, hit file, assign the current cheat table, and then the X to close this down. I'll give this script another awesome name, click inside the square to activate it, and then go kill something. And thank you, sir, for the 600 skill points. Another quick warning, don't kill anything else with the script activated or that negative XP thing may happen. All right, one more script to go. As usual, in the memory viewer, click tools, auto assemble, then the auto assemble window, template, cheat table framework code, then template code injection, and replace this with what you see on the screen. Then come over again and click behind original code, hit enter, and type MOV space EDI comma hashtag 99. Then click file and assign the current cheat table. And I'll give this last script another fantastic name, and with this one activated, when you use an item you already have at least one of, you get 99 of that item. That means if you have at least one gourd seed, you can get max gourd uses. And with just one memory, you can get max attack. But you need to be careful here or you'll destroy your ability to get max attack even legitimately for the current save. Just do what I do and you'll be fine, but I suggest you back up your save just in case. First, make sure the script is activated. Then confront whatever memory you have and wait until you see the attack power has been enhanced message. 
Once the message appears, before you hit OK, deactivate the script by clicking inside the square again, and once you deactivate the script, hit OK back in the game, and you'll see 99 memories, which is just enough to get to 99 attack, which is the max. For vitality though, you need at least 4 prayer beads. But if you already have at least one in your inventory, getting one more by any means will increase your count to 99. And then when you head to a shrine, you can get max vitality. And if you're rocking version 1.04, check out the video on the screen so you can get the changes you need to make this work for you. Link to the video is also in the description. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.